Hello, Dr. Damages. I am Neville Olabode from Frankfurt, Germany. Hmm. I stumbled across your program last November, and since then, I have become a serious fan. Hmm. This is my first email to you. Please, doctor, I want you to help me diagnose the latest video released by the Nigerian army hmm. showing the purported area bombardment of Sambisa forest. Hmm. Cause me, I think that a lot of things are wrong with that video. The video quality and the fact that it had no sound speaks a lot about the equipment of our military in this 21st century of high-tech military surveillance hardware. Hmm. Please, were the army supposed to provide escort services for the fleeing Boko Haram boys? Or are they supposed to destroy them? Hmm. Me, I'm confused though. Hmm. Doctor, that video gives me the impression that there is an ongoing conspiracy between the government, the, the army, and the Boko Haram terrorists. Hmm. The operation the army claims was to be the final onslaught against Boko Haram boys seems to have been just an escort for, for, for them to go to another location because there was no sign of any army engaging the terrorists in the video. Just some boys running when they saw an, a helicopter. Also, doctor, I think the government has been misinforming us all along about the condition of Sambisa forest being an impregnable thick forest because the video we saw, it only shows an open grassland with scattered trees. Is that a forest? Is that the same forest our army has been afraid to enter for the past one year? Mm. Keep up the good work, doctor. And please tell Tomato Joss to start practicing how to pronounce the word, the letter R. <laughs> it's R forever, not R. Okay, doctor, I'm going to. My name is Neville Olabode from Frankfurt, Germany. Introducing Dr. Njakiri Damage. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damage. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York! Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that uh, President Obama visited the city this week. Hmm. Oh, yeah. He comes here whenever he needs some money. Yeah. <laughs> we donate money to him. Or when he wants to take Michelle out on a date. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> or, or, or when he's um, when he needs to come and pray uh, uh, in the mosque in, in New York City. <laughs> oh damn, damn! That forget that. That was from Fox News. <laughs> that that wasn't a real story. That was from Fox, Fox News. Fox News is like the cable Nigeria. You know the cable Nigeria. Yeah. They check their news again and again before they put it out. <laughs> You say you know cable. Do you know the yeah, cable Nigeria? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any, anyway, anyway, Obama came to Lehman College in New York Woo! to promote his foundation. Yeah, mm. yeah. They, they brought my brother's keeper. Do you, have, you, have you heard about the foundation? Yeah, yeah. The school happens to be the school where our own tomato just went to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was editor there. <laughs> so, so, so we sent her out to go and meet President Obama. Here is what happened. Watch. Was that really tomato juice? Was that tomato juice? Yeah. I mean, mean, meanwhile, meanwhile, in Britain, the Prime Minister, David Cameron, mm. won re-election. Mm. Are, are you not impressed? Yeah. He defeated the Labour candidate. What's his name again? We don't care. Anyway, he defeated him and retained his post. Mm. Now, have you noticed that since the beginning of this year, all the presidents who ran for re-election, they all won. Mm. Benjamin Netanyahu won. Yes. The guy in Togo won. Yes. The guy in Sudan won. Yes. Even the guy in uh, Azerbaijan won. Mm. The only one that did not win was our own president, Good Luck. <laughs> now, what kind of good luck is that? <laughs> what kind of good luck? Bad luck. To make matters worse, yeah, you know Cameron, the man went to a Nigerian Pentecostal pastor, mm. Adeboyo. You know her? He went to, the man went to him for mm. prayers. Mm. Uh -huh. Our own Jonathan went to him for prayers, but yet, yeah, he didn't win. Yeah. What kind of luck is that? Mm. 
Uh, now, now, forget all this. Eh? Here is the big story of the week. Madam Du Process, Obi Ezekwesele, mm. this week answered the $16 billion question. Sixteen billion dollar question. You know the question? Yes. Is Obasanjo corrupt? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Many of you have been asking this same question. Why is it that only General Buhari, amongst all the Nigerian former heads of states, could stand up in front of the camera and say this? Watch. I have had the fortune and privilege of managing national resources in various capacities. As a military commander, as a state governor, as a minister of petroleum, and as the head of state of this great country. And in all that I have been and done, I have never touched a couple of public funds. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the man said, I have not taken any cobo from anybody. Really? Well, well, Obasanjo has never said that he did not steal any money. Really? But he carries himself as if he's Mr. Clean, you know? Yeah. He gives lectures on corruption around the world. Mm. He even attacked President Gulo Jonathan's government for being corrupt. Mm. Now, now, so this week, one of his trusted ministers, Obi Ezekwesele, was mm. asked a pointed question mm. by Al Jazeera. And it was simple. Is Obasanjo corrupt? Look at her answer. Watch. How corrupt was President Obasanjo in your view? Is that, is that supposed to be a question on the basis of some factual thing that you're putting before well, I don't me? have the factual evidence, but you were the woman who worked in government. Well, you were nicknamed Madam Due well, Process. Well, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not qualified to tell Obi how to answer questions like this. Uh -huh. Especially from a reporter like that. <laughs> but if I were her, I will follow the standard model of answering pregnant questions. <laughs> and, and it goes like this. This is what you have said. You know, <laughs> this is not a very important question to ask. And so many people have asked me this same question. Mm. And in each case, I have always referred them to what I said when I was minister. <laughs> incidentally, yeah, incidentally, under the same wow. Olusegun or Basenjo, when I established due process in procurement, mm. if you remember, it was at the height of the economic, that is how you answer the question. <laughs> By the time you finish, everybody's confused. Not, not this thing Obi is doing. Now, now, to be fair, the reporter was not very fair to Obi. You know we love Obi on this show. Yes. <laughs> the reporter did not say, for example, that Obasanjo was a beneficiary of hundreds of thousands of shares from that bogus privatization program. Mm. You know that one, the one that in the, in the on UK and uh, El Rufai and uh, Soludo and uh, Okonjiwala, they call them themselves their economic team. Mm. That, that thing they gave out money to Transcorp. They just established that thing and shared money yeah. and shares. Yeah. Now, the interviewer did not point out that corporations that benefited from oil subsidies and import waivers, you know what import waivers? <laughs> and the government sanctioned monopolies that they donated billions of naira to Obasanjo's presidential library. While, yeah, while Obasanjo was still president. Uh, by the way, uh, is uh, Jonathan building a library? <laughs> anyway, and, and look at this one. The reporter did not point out that Delta state government was spending millions of naira each year to buy eggs from Obasanjo's farm. <laughs> Aqua egg, yeah, billions. Now, wow. can you imagine how much Peter Dele, uh, the, when he was trying to run for president, how much he was spending imagine. buying eggs? Yeah? Hey. If Delta states, anyway. Voila. Now, even how could the reporter miss this one? That Obasanjo received over 80 cars at his daughter's wedding. Hmm. No, okay, okay, it wasn't Obasanjo. See, well, they were just gifts for the daughter. But people donated over 80 cars, or maybe 100. Wow. The reporter did not point this out. Wow. These important things were missing when the reporter was interviewing Obi. Mm. Eh? He should have reminded her that the fact that she was one of the founders of Transparency International mm. does not mean that she should remember all these things. Yeah. Yeah? Even Nuhu Ribadi, you remember him, yeah. the EFCC guy. He could not even remember announcing to the world that Patient Jonathan was mm. involved in money laundering. Ooh. So how do you expect Obi to remember all these things? So, so, so you can see why I feel that that arrogant journalist was not fair to my sister, Obi. Mm. No. Uh, Obi, what do you think? 
I really like empirical evidence. I really like empirical evidence. I really like empirical evidence. Um, and right now, you don't have any. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, empirical proof. Where are thou? Without empirical proof, listen to this all you guys. Without empirical proof, Babangida is a saint. Without empirical evidence, Bola Tinubu is a saint. In fact, without empirical proof, all the criminals in your village, they are all saints. <laughs> now, the trouble with empirical proof or evidence is that once you ask for it, they keep coming out. Mm. So now, here is a video of the CEO of Obasanjo Foundation talking about how she did monkey business with, for herself and the foundation. <laughs> I know, I know. This is, this is top, top notch. Watch. Put it this way, in my end, that I can't see any problems because there's never problems. Mm -hmm. There's no foreseen problems from your end either, correct? Mm -hmm. I have done because we've done this before. Yeah. You have your fee? Yeah. I get my money. You've or done this before, before, right? Yeah. I've done this before. I've, been, I've even done it from the Nigeria end and I've done it from London end. So, but I just want to make sure who, who I could transfer big box, small and small box. Whatever said in this room is enough. Mm -hmm. yeah, it has to be. It has no. to be. And I've always told There's her. There's no problem no. with that. Okay. Yeah. Because Okay, now we have a we have a very we have a very good reputation. Of course. Oh yeah 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 wow. yeah 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 yeah. The, wow. the woman boasted that a passenger trusted her, and that she could make money appear and disappear without a trace. Hey. She said. She, yeah. She said that that she and Obasanjo were so tight that they did a lot of secret things that very important people in Africa will we not like to hear. <laughs> Listen to the woman again. Like people, some people would have to have this opportunity and you know start thinking of things. You know, you you wonder in your life, don't you know how small this world is? Don't you know? I, you know, I, for me, I'm I'm just a firm believer. The people I have that are good around me will always be around me. The best, like people always ask me, and one question I get, how do you work with President Passenger? How? Because you know, if you read about him, he's the kind of guy. He fought the war in Nigeria. He's the guy all African leaders call upon. Wow, wow, this woman said, she just they open her mouth to wipe. She just they open her mouth to wipe. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Ah, this is just in. A passenger foundation has sacked the woman. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it, I knew it. The foundation said that they, and I'm quoting here, we don't associate with anything corrupt and unclean. To fear. Say unclean. <laughs> now, now, talking about empirical proof, did you guys hear that the Nobel laureate, Professor Wole Shoinka, mm -hmm. he now travels with a reporter and a camera crew? Why not? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's big. Yeah, he, he's doing it. No, no, it's, ah. not, it's not because he's big. <laughs> it has become necessary. Hey. Yeah, he wants to make sure that when he eats, the actual food he eats is the one that is reported in newspapers. Hey. Also, he said when he poops, he does not want the color of his poop to be misrepresented. Wow. Oh. That became necessary after an online media, it's not point blank news, I just have to say that, oh. reported that he decided to insult Igbo people and went all the way to Harvard to do that. Mm -hmm. Harvard in America. The online media, not to Aka reporters, <laughs> reported that Shoinka said so many bad, bad things about Igbo people that Ojuku got up from his grave and slapped Go on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what is this? What am I saying? Who wrote this crap? <laughs> this is not what happened. Eh? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, the online media, uh, let me, I can call it name, is called the Kebo. Have mm. you guys seen the Kebo? <laughs> <laughs> Shoinka was so disgusted that he called the website <laughs> an infestation. He said that they are online infestation like the Kebo. Shoinka said that those who believed what the Kebo wrote, mm. that those people are morons. Which Kebo? What? Morons. Cable online newspaper. That they are morons. Hey. I, I thank God I did not believe it. In fact, I did not even tweet it out. <laughs> that was how concerned I was when I wow. saw that. I said, Shoinka cannot say something like this. Uh. I, I thank God that I do not. But those people who believe, incidentally, those people who believe they were mainly Igbo people. Mm. Now, does that mean that they are morons? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just asking. No. No? No? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> the important thing to know is that the cable has since apologized for publishing that rubbish. Hey. 
They said moving forward, they will check their stories at least once before they publish it. <laughs> now, now you know, you know, it is not just every newspaper online that you read and believe what they are saying. If you want true stories, watch NTA. Yes. That's it. AIT. Oh, AIT. <laughs> oh, AIT. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't remember that. AIT or NTA. That's that's where you get the stuff. Right. Now, Shoinka has done what any smart person would do in this situation. Travel with a reporter, your own reporter, mm. to avoid people in America reporting what is happening in Nigeria. Yes. What, am I, what am I saying? Sorry. So, I mean, it's the other way around. I mean, to avoid people in Nigeria reporting what is happening in America when they are not there. Mm. Where is Sahara reporters again? <laughs> <laughs> In, in economic news, we want to check out with uh, Ngo Baby, Ngo yes. Konjiwala. Because, because it, this is the dying minute. That's when money disappears in the country. Hmm. She is the finance minister and the coordinating minister of the economy. Hmm. So let's check with Ngo. Ngo Baby, how are things going? Dialoguing with them all along. We paid them $350 billion in December. We paid them $31 billion for very foreign exchange differentials. And by tomorrow, we will be paying them the 100 billion for which we gave them IOUs, as well as their interest rate differentials uh, of 56 billion. So I'm about to go and sign to get that paid. And I think that Nigerians will agree that the government is making maximum effort to accommodate the oil marketers. They are also Nigerians, and they also need to cooperate with us. So as I leave here, we are going to sign for them to get another 156 billion. 100 billion in the IOUs we issued them, which are due tomorrow, and 56 billion in interest rate differentials. In this very difficult environment where revenues are constrained, we are doing our maximum. We have prioritized them because we don't want Nigerians to suffer. Now, they too have to cooperate with Nigerians, isn't it? And also be good and patriotic citizens. Wow. Wow. She's talking about billions and billions and billions and billions. Talking That's talking talking billions and billions and billions. Hey. It's good though when you are spending other people's money, you can you can throw them out. Billions. I know nothing about that. You want some billions? Yeah. You want some billions? Mm. <laughs> billions for everyone. Billions for everybody. Wow. Ngo Baby. So this week, she Ngo Baby said that the federal government overspent by 365.3 billion between July and December of 2014. Hmm. 300 wait, wait, 300 and overspent. Wow. Now, in, in, in fact, the woman, the woman is saying to hell with the budget. <laughs> to hell with, they are, they are spending money like water. Now, now, uh, thank you, Ngo Baby. Thank you so much. Uh, Ngo Baby, you know, for you, those who do not know, Ngo Baby has a BSc from Harvard University. Woo! Yeah, and wow. PhD from That's MIT. MIT. Yeah. She girl. also informed us this week that we have borrowed $473 billion out of 882 billion that we are allowed to borrow in a year she should go. and it's still the we are just entering the fifth month of the year <laughs> i know i know i know her trick ngo baby wants to borrow and borrow and borrow until there's nothing to borrow anymore now, according to ngo baby we borrowed to pay workers can you imagine this are you guys looking at your are you, me? Are you looking at your hey. paycheck Ngo what? Baby is borrowing to pay workers. Wow. And what? we are now on the fifth month of the hey, year. Hey, that's right? a shame. Now, there's hope. There's hope. Hey. Definitely, there's hope. Where? Where is the hope? Look at it. <laughs> Show me the hope. Look at you. You're shaking your head, eh? Mm. Have you been inside the four walls of Harvard University? Huh. Have you? Oh, Even what? MIT. Have you been One there? Day. You went to Lehman College and you're shaking. <laughs> Ngo Baby. Ngo Baby from Harvard is talking. You're shaking your head. <laughs> Are you not ashamed of yourself? Oh, eh? See the audacity. Nonsense. Oh, Children no. of nowadays, they don't have respect. Respect your eh? mother. Somebody from Harvard and MIT, when, when she talks billion, you just say, ma, yes, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. <laughs> now, a lot of you have written me in the last few days, hmm. asking where in the world is Passion Jonathan. Where is Passion? Yeah. Where is our first lady? Eh? Nobody is singing for us. Where is she? Well, well, finally, the presidency answered that question. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. They said, that for the first time, they said the first lady is in Congo. <laughs> yeah, she's in Congo, Kinshasa. Kinshasa. So, so you know, she is not there digging for gold or uranium. No, she, she went there 
you know what? We sent our craft reporters to look her up in Congo. <laughs> this is what they found. Watch. In action, Woo-ha! our first lady. <laughs> anyway, here are some stories making headline news across Nigeria this week. Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. I, I mean, I said newspapers, not the cable. <laughs> Jonathan deceived Ndibo on Second Niger Bridge, says Ohaneze to Buhari. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't even wait for the man to leave office before they went crying to the new messiah. Help <laughs> us. <laughs> Cry babies. Nonsense. Man treks from Abuja to Tuoke to honor Jonathan as the hero of democracy. Woo! Did you guys hear that? Every day somebody is somebody trekking from one place to the other. Every day. Hmm. What, what other proof do you have that people are unemployed in that country? <laughs> they are unemployed. I wanted to do that, but I have to pass through Baltimore. I, mean, I, I can't do that. <laughs> Don't abandon my administration's ongoing projects, begged uh, Jonathan to Buhari. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's true. You know, it's, it's a good point. They asked him specifically, what is the project? He said, finding a good Igbo woman for Femi Pihani <laughs> Anyway, Bianca said no, obviously. State of economy. We will beg Nigerians to be patient, says Buhari. I, 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 I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't, don't mention patience, my man. Don't, 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 ah, what's wrong now? We want to hear swift, uh, smart, uh, mm. solid. Mm. Names like that. Pretty. Not, not pretty, not patience. I beg. <laughs> don't, don't, scare, don't scare us. Press singers misled Jonathan, says Mazu. <laughs> I know, I know the man. Ha- the man had problems with uh, Doi Nokube and Femi Fani Kaide. But, 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 man, but, man, but, must you say it this way? Eh? There are other ways you can say these things. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan questions Buhari's victory. <laughs> you know, what? this this is a sign that the hangover is over now. <laughs> I said, Mede, Mede, call Page Abdul Salami. Tell him that there's trouble. There's trouble. The man is clear now. His face, his, his brain is clear now. He, he didn't know that he lost. <laughs> Expectation is too high, says Buhari. <laughs> my man, my man, don't worry, Mr. Don't, Mr. President, like, don't worry. Don't eh? When Mamudoka first met me, her expectations were too high. <laughs> Jonathan Buhari hold secret meeting. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, the Zen Ellison Madeke is a gunner. Yes. Yeah, because in this kind of secret meeting, if you're not at the table, you are on the table. Yes. <laughs> Did you get it? Under the table. On, on the, no, no, they kicked her out of the <laughs> She's now on the table. Then she's gone. <laughs> we love stupid criminals. Now, this criminal says, I went into armed robbery to pursue my career in football. Mm. That's what he told the police when they caught him. <laughs> I know, I know. No. Now, now, he is now the captain of Krikiri Prison Football Club. <laughs> he achieved his goal. Are you not impressed? Woo! Yeah, he achieved his goal. Captain, it's not easy. <laughs> Buhari will heal the wound of the Niger Delta people. Woo! Yeah, the militants are saying this now. They are hoping. Mm. So, so this Buhari is also a doctor. I didn't know that. Yes. This kind of multi-talented man. I've never seen anything like that. The magical doctor. Magic. Eh? He's going to heal the Ibos, heal the Deltas, heal the everybody. Heal what everybody. Are, how about your country, Sierra Leone? Are they? <laughs> they need help. Buhari will, Buhari will help them, you know? Anyway, external reserves can't pay for more than three months of imports. Mm. This is what they're telling us now. The external reserve cannot pay for more than three months of imports. What? I, I will have a backup plan. Well, let's go to our internal reserve. You know the internal reserves. Yes. Dangote, Otedola, Tinubu, they can take care of all those things. Did you guys get that? You, don't, you, you didn't get that? Terrible. Huh. 25 billion naira fraud. Lucky Ibinedon's brother to pay 3 million naira fine. Mm. Did you guys hear the story? Ooh. The man stole 25 billion 
they asked him to pay three million fine. That's a token. Now, now, this is why I said that judges must have get math credit in math in their work. <laughs> you people said no. What is the percentage of that thing? Can you calculate it? Twenty-five billion, and you are paying three million in fine. Can you do the math? <laughs> <laughs> they said why? Why they can they can they cannot they cannot and the judges could not. Anyway, those running to APC will return with empty stomachs. <laughs> says Jonathan. <laughs> no, yeah, he, the president empty is saying stomach. that those who are leaving PDP to APC that they will return with empty stomach. Wow. I'm not surprised. You know, for for the president, it's all about stomach. Hey. Soccer and our sisters. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like the 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 Yes, doctor, every day. All right, let's hear them, please. So you're not gonna say anything about my upgrade. What what upgrade? Ah, ah, ah. You know. Things are notice. happening. Wow. <laughs> My money is showing. You know, before it used Your to money. be on makeup. To, your to, money. To, 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 what do you call this thing you put all over your face? Your but money. I'll put this, it for My you. money is showing now. Your money. Yes. Go anyway. ahead. Anyway. Can I touch it? Wow. It's real. It's real <laughs> and in flesh. Ah. It's wonderful. <laughs> Can I take it home for my mood? You know, no, 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 wait, no. Wait, wait. Now you're pushing you know, it. You know you're pushing it. Day. I it's use it to use day. your emails. Mother's so Day. Can I just show her? No, let no, her no, touch no, it. No, no. Mother's Day. Yeah, Mamudo. So, yeah. Just to touch you it. You say your money is working. <laughs> Why don't you use your money uh, and buy her a new one? Not for one. Mamudo. Mamudo is stay at home mom. You know, there are other mama, mama uh, who are hanging out. African men. You see? People. You see? People watching. Original, original African man. Hey! Let's go. Come on. I'll pray for you. Our first, e can I read the email read now? The emails, please. Okay. Hmm. Our first email is from Mohammed in India. He writes. Oh, that's our friend. Our friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you, maybe you've not met him. Yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Not this one. Okay. My dear doctor, what is happening to the PDP? That they are just throwing blame at each other for the collapse of the party. <laughs> and by the way, is it true that Jonathan spent that money on the campaign? Ah. Jonathan. P oh, PDP collapsing. <laughs> oh. Listen, my mom, forget what is in cable <laughs> news, that cable online report. Forget hmm. what they are saying. The PDP is going through a mutation. Hmm. At the end, it will emerge as the largest party in uh, Otoke. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where they're going. Don't too. worry about, don't worry about what's <laughs> going on. Forget about the cable, whatever they are reporting. Hmm. PDP is going to remain great. Hmm. Next. Hmm. Our second email is. Did, did from you, by the way, did you get the money they said they were sharing PDP after Listen. the election? They were giving out money to all their executives. Anybody who smiles at uh, Olisa Meto. <laughs> Next. I know nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> Our second email is from Akudinobu. Ah, Akudinobi. Bu? No, Bu. Oh, is that? <laughs> I can't, I can't see it in Bo, boo, 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 B, A, uh, uh. Okay, I don't know. Really anyway, yeah. <laughs> dear Dr. Damages, I want to use this opportunity to beg you huh? to talk to the devil to honor GEJ as I have prayed to God to honor him. Huh? As, Go ahead. As National Association of Nigerian Witches and Wizards and Christian Association of Nigeria, both was once conflicting organizations uh -huh. jointly openly and harmoniously campaign for his failed re-election. To the best of my knowledge, this is the first time in the world, in history, <laughs> hey. that both organizations were at peace with each other, uh, courtesy of GEJ. Uh, hmm. What does Kudos. this? What, what Kudos. Do you, my man, what do you know? Good job. Uh, this man, no, uh, are, are you sure you are not confused? The Christian <laughs> Association of Nigeria and the Association of Nigerian Witches and Wizards mm -hmm. are two different organizations. One flies at high speed with broom <laughs> to go and collect money. The other one is a session of witches and wizards. Hey. <laughs> you know what I did here? You think I'm going this I'll way? Pray I for you. this way, you know? I'll Next. pray for you. Our third email is from Abraham in Prime What are you talking Czech about? Republic. They were collecting money from politicians. I don't know okay. nothing. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Dear Dr. Damages, LLB, Wait, 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 wait. The email is from where? I said it. You no, are listening. Hear, hear. Tell me again. Our third email is from Prague, from Mohammed oh, in Prague, Czech friend, Republic. Yeah, Czech Republic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, go ahead. Dear Dr. Damages, 
LLB, GEJ, GND, GSM, DFR. This is what. Oh, so on and so forth. Keep me real. How many degrees does she have? I don't know. Nothing. I don't know. I'm just reading the email. Maybe BSc or something. Look at that. Just a poor little girl reading the email. Go ahead. He said, this is my first time, doctor, I beg. Help me diagnose FFK. Uh, That's funny, Karate. Uh, I haven't heard his voice for a while now. <laughs> Hope he hasn't lost it. Uh, Secondly, as for Mrs. Alison Madeku, uh, which country is about to give her asylum? <laughs> Make we put them on our list of enemies. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. Love uh, this show to my bone. Thank, thank you, my man. Thank you. You see, Femi Fanikaide has a court date next month. Hmm. It's very important. Hmm. Without Jonathan telling the judges what to do, the man might go inside. <laughs> so what I'm telling you now is that for those who care about the man, go and stay at the border and watch out for a man, a woman who has mustache mm. trying to escape through the border. As for the Ziani, the Ziani, her plans are all set. Since Patience has decided to go to Congo, Hmm? She ha is heading to uh, uh, Czech Republic. Hey! So watch out. <laughs> she wants to go to a country that no Nigerian uh, people, Nigerians don't frequent. Hmm. And I think Czech Republic. I'm not. We've not received mm, any email from Czech. I have no, no. comments. So so just watch out. Next. <laughs> Our fourth email is from Farm Owatu from uh, Kaduna, Nigeria. Yeah. We, we had a meeting with that guy. Mm. He's a pharmacist, I think. Mm. I That's why he said Farm. Mm -hmm. He's a Owatu. pharmacist. I know him. Yeah. Mm. Dear doctor, yes, I wanted not my first email to carry any negative comments, mm. but you have not. You know, anytime here, but yeah, <laughs> prepare <before> yourself. But, <laughs> but you have not been fair to pharmacists at all. Ah. How can any clinic on earth be run without a pharmacy? Ooh. What do you want tomato, tomato cute to be admi <laughs> administering to your patients? Ooh. By the way, please advise our outgoing president to do something about the fuel prices. We are buying it at 97 liter. Our president, out of the camping ego, reduced it to 87. But we never see fuel in stations that sell at government prices. Mm. We always buy at private stations mm. where it has always been available at 115 to 120. Wow. I'm afraid that Nigerians may see it as a form of Yahweh <laughs> from the presidency. <laughs> my regards to all the members of Sahara. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, my man. Mm. Now, 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 there's, there's a little oversight here. Mm. We, we don't have a pharmacy in our clinic because no. we simply diagnose and we let you heal yourself. You heal yourself. <laughs> so why do we need a pharmacy? We don't give you medication. <laughs> So remember that. <laughs> now, uh, let me let me explain what is going on. Like, just know that the price you are buying petrol for today mm. may be the cheapest you will get mm. in a long time, because Jonathan refused, forgot, or didn't want to put in money for oil subsidy. Mm. So what you may know is that the oil subsidy is almost gone. Hey. So just keep saving money because you need it to buy fuel. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you the news. We read the news and we give it back to you mm -hmm. the way you understand it. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next. Yeah, but the man said we don't have pharmacy. Listen, listen. Can listen. you imagine that? I don't. Eh? Yeah, I'm just a worker. Next. Poor worker. Our, our fifth email is from Chris in Malaysia, your friend. Mm, Chris, yeah. Hmm. We used to eat this a long time ago. Yeah. Hi, doctor. Yes. And dear tomato juice. Wow. I know, I know. They now address you, they now address <laughs> you in, in my email. Why upgrade, is it my email? The upgrade. When you type in Dr. Damages at Gmail, did you type in Dr. Tomato? What? Anyway, I will talk. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Thanks for giving us the truth about Nigerian politics we and try. the fraud politicians we have. We, we are enjoying your program here in Malaysia, and we need your complete collaboration with Adiola, as one of my Malaysian friends also requested for this. Please, don't mistakenly use that your hammer on Tomato J one day. <laughs> so that's funny. Uh, no, 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 no. I thought about that many times. He said, hopefully you read out my email in your next show. Counting uh, days for GEJ like Ghana must go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ghana my must friend, go. Chris, Chris, thank hmm, you so Chris. much. Uh, thank you so much. Um, we keep waiting for Her Majesty. <laughs> Whenever she has time for us little people we will jump at it and we will work with not? them yeah, yeah. Not? but um it's not it's not every day that it happens um, <laughs>
<laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. But but I know that she's listening to the voices of people mm -hmm. like you. You know, remember the voice of people is the voice of God. Ah. Yes. So one day she will give us the honor again. Our sixth email is from Talk is Free. Mm -hmm. Your friend. Talks. Talk talk. <laughs> He said, Dr. Nye mm, Mbisi, hey. Dr. Damages, she be you an omolicha tomato don't finally diagnose Nigeria Wahala. Now it's time of healing, on ya. <laughs> Tokoto Buhari, uh -huh. tell you him I want Buhari Niger from the way one party called People's Destruction Party hey. put us for 16 years. Wow. First, bring back why. Whack, war against indiscipline. Why electricity. <laughs> why employment. Wow. WAP. Wa bad, wa wa, we we. Doctor, any query? I, I love. I'm free to talk now. You my guy. <laughs> talk is free. My man, you 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 talk <laughs> talk too much. That. He called me Onion maybe see. Eh? I what does Dr. that mean? Damages, but I'm not Doctor Onion maybe see. What does that mean? Someone who scatter things. I'm hey! not Doctor Scatter. I'm Doctor Damages. There's a difference <laughs> between right. damaging and scattering things. Eh? Now, now, let me hmm. tell you. Let me tell you. Um, talk is cheap, so you remember. Is it talk is cheap or talk is talk free? Talk is free. Talk is free. It's free. So you remember. Yesterday is nothing but today that passed. Ah. And tomorrow is nothing but yesterday that reincarnated. Hey! Oh, yeah. You can call ah. it yesterday that was born again. Hey! So, so we wait and see what we match on May 29th. Hmm. But for now, be careful. Be careful. Yesterday mm -hmm. is dangerous mm -hmm. to bring it back. The demons, the witches. Hey, you look like a madman. Can we continue? Hey! Next. Hmm, God help you. Talk is free. Hmm. Our final email is from Dahiru. He writes, Dear Dr. Damages, I want to be honest with you. I enjoy your program and commend you for waking up the so-called leaders from our slumber. We try. But I enjoy watching Tomato Joss oh, more than uh, your blurb. <laughs> uh -huh. When somebody suggested replacing her with Adiola of making it real. <laughs> I know, I know. He didn't even bother. Making it real. <laughs> I went, ah! <laughs> tomato is as smooth as tomato. Ah. And she is, mm. Oh, God. I always wait for that moment when she appears on the screen oh. so that I can glorify God. <laughs> This is one of them. <laughs> one of them. Please help her as your. Please keep her as your nurse and let her turn around for me, for God's uh, sake. Uh, uh, you are calling God into uh, this. Uh, ah. my, my friend, don't don't worry. My friend, I go don't, to don't church. I, no, no, I understand him. Don't hmm. worry, my friend. Tomato just is going nowhere. Hmm? Those who know how things work in this place, we tell you that she's more powerful than the doctor himself. You know what I mean? But um, we, we take it offline. <laughs> Shout out to Keisha. <laughs> That's all the time we have for emails. I can't. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Now, here is my concern for today. It's mm. taken from the book, The Making of the Nation, by mm. Thomas Jefferson, page 419. Mm. And he says, The purpose of the Constitution mm. is to bind the government from mischief. Did you get that? The uh -huh. purpose of the Constitution is to bind the government from mischief. What mischief has your government done this week? Hmm. Did your Constitution bind them? Hmm. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose... You heal yourself! <laughs> so, I know, I know Mo uh, Mohammed is wherever he is saying, forget all this crap I'm saying. <laughs> so, Mohammed Joss, turn your back for the man. Doctor, to help the man out. The Doctor, ma the, ma the man he has his own computer. Doctor, to his computer now. Help the man out. <laughs> yes, the man. <laughs> are you happy? Are you happy now? <laughs> oh ah, children are watching. <laughs>
Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, poor air condition, free international calls, free tire pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Nirobar Michele off Rajirazaki Road, First Estate, Amuo, or the Fifestad League. For more information or reservation, please call us on 080-75-78-7135 or 080-99-90-0601. You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.forcevhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Forcevhotel Hotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.